In New Brunswick, the ice is starting to break up on the rivers there, causing ice jams that have sent water spilling into several smaller communities. And late today, the St. John River that runs right through Fredericton surpassed the flood stage. Our Ross Lord is watching the waters rise in Atlantic Canada. At their peak, floodwaters covered 70% of Sussex Corner, New Brunswick today, forcing the village to declare a state of emergency. An estimated 150 homes have been flooded, along with dozens of these new RVs. Before the waters receded, more than 100 residents here and in nearby Sussex were moved to higher ground. Well, the water's rising really fast, and I think we're going to end up being flooded inside and out. And we were told we were going to be evacuated. <laughs> it's the result of something New Brunswickers fear with every spring thaw, ice jams. In the community of Woodstock, ice jams knocked out power poles needed for the town's water wells. That forced a boil water order. In another community, this bridge buckled from the impact. And across New Brunswick, dozens of roads are closed after large chunks of ice or flood water came crashing in. Where there's still uh, the ice cover is still intact, uh, an ice jam can form anywhere. Melting snow from a long winter, combined with today's rainfall, is forcing some rivers to overflow, including the notorious St. John River, which runs through the province and has surged past the flood stage by more than a half meter in the capital city, Fredericton. After enduring a long, cold winter, a busy flood season is the last thing New Brunswickers need. It's higher than it's ever been while I've lived in this house. Emergency measures officials say no lives are in danger, but they admit the flooding could get worse in the days and weeks ahead. Ross Lohr, Global News, Halifax.